Hello everyone. <laughs> yeah, my clicker is not working. I think I gotta change the battery, so mm, that sucks. So you're gonna kind of see my big freaking ghetto hand just sitting there. <laughs> like, just warning you. <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for joining the channel, Just Small Tarot. I hope that everyone's doing well, your friends and family are doing great. We're going to see what we can energy that we get here, okay? Excuse the background noise, you will hear my washer going on. Um, I'm leaving my door kind of cracked, my office door, just because I need to hear from my little girl. So, appreciate your uh, your patience and understanding. Um, we're going to see what the weekend energy is like. What's going on with the weekend energy? What's like around as spirit guides? My spirit guides would bring here. Don't have to be a specific sign. Sorry, guys, I'm in my robe. Doesn't have to be a specific sign. And this cup cool. It says blue. And then look at Eminem. <laughs> he looks like he's tired as hell, don't he? <laughs> well, I'm not that. I'm not tired like that. So I guess uh, that's a plus for me. Anywho, I lost my train of thought. Um, you could be any sign, okay? Um, please understand this may not resonate with every single person, all right? If the title strikes you to come and join and watch the video, there might be a message in here. I do believe, I am a soul believer, that spirit will send you to certain videos for a reason, okay? Your spirit guides, your angels, because everyone has them, all right? We all have them. No one's special uh, to where you don't have no protection now um if you if you act the donkey you know throwing out bad karma throwing out bad bad things out there then um yeah that's what you're gonna get back what you put out you get back of course i'm gonna give you all that lesson you already know so anyway thank you for joining the channel just small tour i hope that you do like share and subscribe i am grateful for all your subscriptions i'm grateful for every type of like it doesn't matter if it's a thumbs down or a thumbs up hey guys my haters need love too, so here I am giving it to you, all right? I appreciate you guys being here, truly do. So much love in my heart, I can't keep it away from the haters, you know what I mean? I just see it like that. Um, if you're curious to know, I am a Leo, okay? <laughs> Somebody asked me that in one of my uh, videos. They're like, well, why can you name your sign? I was like, okay, yeah, I'm a Leo. That fire! I cannot wait to get my new decks in, you guys. I'm going to have so many decks. Oh, my man. Dude. Dude. Let me tell you. I'm going to have so many decks. It's going to be crazy. So I don't... I think I have, like, about maybe, like, 24. And I'm still, like, not satisfied. No joke. I'm just, like... My fiance's like, you need more decks, don't you? Yes. Please. Act <laughs> really bashful. Oh, I love it. He's so supportive. Okay, so guys, let's see what's going on with the weekend energy. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Popcorn. These are going to be the clarifiers. Everyday tarot. Okay. Smaller ones. Alright, so we're going to see what's the weekend energy. You know what? I'm going to try to do something. What happened in the past. What's happening now. And then what's happening in the future. I really don't do those spreads. I don't know why. I just put cards down and I gravitate, you know. So let's see. What's going on with the weekend energy spirit? Can my spirit guides please join me right now and give me what's going on in the weekend energy for the collective? Okay, what can we get here? Can we get something juicy? Some truth? What is, what is my collective needing to know right now about love? Considering love, okay? In the past. The present future okay at the bottom of the deck we got the nine of wands nine of wands okay Whew. all right now um we got the for the past we for the past we have the not the ten of wands in the reverse and we have the knight of pentacles in the upright okay Someone in the past was very slow to let some baggage go, all right? Some baggage that just wasn't need to be carried any longer. Somebody's been sitting around in the past moping about someone that's done, done something to them. They're taking a very long time to bring this Knight of Pentacles to their cells, 
their own stability, okay? That uh, that Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, yeah, but it, it don't say nowhere in no rule book that, that that Pentacles for someone else. This is somebody that kept carrying burdens all over the place. Nine time, uh, most of the time when this is in the upright like this, the Ten of Wands, is because someone's about to put this shit down. He's about to throw them sticks, just throw them off. But in the up in the reverse, I find this as someone still holding on to some burdens. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles clear with that. Someone was slow to give themselves the type of love and the type of stability that they deserve, okay, for themselves. In the present, we have the world in the upright, okay? And then we have the Ten of Cups in the upright. So somebody actually closed out a cycle so they can go towards their true happiness, okay? That could be anything. Being single, being married, you know, getting married, um, you know, closing out old cycles with exes and, and, and karmic partners, going on to being with your divine counterpart, things like that. That's what I'm getting the vibe here at the present moment, okay? In the future, we have the Seven of Swords, okay? And we have the Strength card in the reverse, okay? Somebody is going to come and try to sneak at, somebody's going to try to come in and sneak, because let me tell you, somebody let go of something. They closed up a cycle. They were actually carrying the burden of a cycle not closing. They also could have been waiting for an offer to come in. That offer never came, okay? So they closed out that damn cycle, and now they're happy somewhere else. Now someone wants to come in and take their joy and happiness and put them into the strength in the reverse, meaning they want to make them weak, powerless. Someone here doesn't like someone standing in their power, though they're the ones that didn't want to bring the correct offer. The solid, stable offer. Do you see what I'm saying? They took their sweet ass time. This put a burden on somebody. If this is re if this is re resonating with you, please like. Give me a like. If it's not resonating, still give me a like. The vibe is here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it intuitively. Somebody here was waiting for an offer, okay, to come in. They were waiting for a long ass time. They were carrying, holding on to past baggage and stuff. And you know what? Most of this baggage here was not even this individual's baggage. Somebody here was carrying someone else's bullshit. Why this person was slow to commit to bring them any type of stable offer. All right? Then here we got the world card in the middle. Somebody closed out that cycle. They left it where it was at. They, they, they stopped. Whoever this was, this energy here... They said, look, to, to hell with them burdens, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm finally gonna put these mother efforts down. They may not be all the way down, but they're down enough because I'm not gonna deal with it. And I'm gonna go on and find my happiness, my ten of cups. Now, once the world card, when the when the ten of cups follows the world card, that means you closed out a major karmic cycle and you're you've learned some lessons, okay? Me as the intuitive reader, that's what I'm getting here. Someone's learned some damn lessons. You could have been dealing with the Leo. You could have been dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio or an Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sag. You could be dealing with the Cancer uh, Scorpio Pisces. You could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. They're all here. That's the funny thing. They're all freaking here. Hold on, guys. I just dropped some of my cards. My ass in the air. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Wave it around like you just don't care. Wave it around like you just don't care. My car is like, I guess it's this man. I'm on my cheap ass robe, okay, but I don't give a damn. I'm cold. I'm warm. So, anyways, yeah. So whoever's here trying to move on, being happy in their happiness, and closed out a cycle, don't think that this other person that you walked away from is done yet. They're not. They're coming back in the future. Now, um. For the, the, for the immediate future, we got the Seven of Swords and the Strength in the reverse. Someone wants to come while you're at your weakest. They want to make you, they, 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 somebody wants to come and tempt you. But really what they're wanting to do is they're wanting to run off with everything that you have. Your happiness, your relationship, whatever it is that makes you happy. The Ten of Cups just does not have to be a family. Though we see a family there, most people find this to be content. Happiness. You know, the end all be all. Emotional fulfillment everything okay that everything is not everybody's everything so did that make any sense what i just told you guys okay look <laughs> okay what i'm stating is is that the ten of cups does you ended up into the cycle and then you went on to your happiness whatever that is for you okay everybody's is going to be different 
we're going to clarify. Spirit, what can we get for this Ten of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles here? What can we get for this Ten of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles here? Spirit, what can you give us for this Ten of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles for the past? Thank you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody playing mind games. Somebody just actually acting as if they was going to come along and give an apology or a solid offer yet again. But it's in the reverse. And again, it's a page. It's a page. Somebody that's very immature. Somebody was supposed to be... What I'm getting here, I, you guys, I see a lot of earth and I, and I see uh, water. and Okay, I see all of it. What I'm getting here is that somebody had a burden so heavy on their back because they were waiting for somebody to actually give to reciprocate the love that they've been giving this individual. It did not turn out that way. In fact, this person was smiling and laughing knowing that this other individual was waiting for them to come back. Not to come back, but to come give them a solid offer. They knew this person was waiting. This person is a fucking page. They would have this person waiting, 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 waiting for them to bring an offer. And they would always sit there with their promises and all that. And that somebody could not let this burden go in the past. They couldn't put that burden down for the life of them because they didn't know if they should move forward or if they should stick around and wait for this slow ass motherfucker right here. Now, everybody mostly says, most readers you're here say, here say they will say that this is the slowest night of the deck, but it's a solid offer. Well, the vibe I'm getting here is that somebody was sitting here doing this shit on purpose because they were sitting around fiddling and dealing with other options. All right. And in this page of Pentacles in the reverse, I see pages in the reverse as lies. That's what I see it as. But this is a pinnacle. This person has nothing to offer any damn way. So when they were sitting there making this other person wait, what were they waiting for? Is my question. What were they waiting for? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This individual that did this is not having very good karma on their side right now. The wheel's not turning in their favor. Because somebody here closed out this cycle. They got tired of those burdens. They got tired of it. You know, if you just think about it. Do you ever remember being in middle school or high school when you had to carry those fucking thick-ass books in those backpacks? And you held on for dear life. When you first put the backpack on with all the books in it, it feels all right. You know, you're like, all right, this is a little heavy, but you know, I got this. You know, I'm a G. <laughs> so, so then you, you start walking. You start, you know, give it, give it a good 10 minutes. And you kind of like trying to adjust the straps, trying to give your little shoulders a little bit of wiggle room and stuff. That's what this feels like. But the books was 10 times on someone's back. They would stress. They would stay up at night stressing, sad, scared. But this person that was coming in, this, this so-called night bullshit, was coming in with nothing. They had nothing to offer. They kept putting someone on the back burner, knowing damn well that they were not willing to give that person. And you don't have to have money. Let me tell you that. These, these pages, this page of pinnacles in the reverse, doesn't mean this person had to come with money. Coming with solid commitment is something that's also special that some people do value. And this person played. They know damn well they did not want to commit. They weren't ready to. But they couldn't tell that person. They didn't want to tell that person. They just had them carrying those burdens and wondering if they... Making them keep their life on pause, okay? Let's get another one for this. Ten of Wands and this Knight of Pentacles spirit. That's what's going on here. I see it clear as day. So that's the weekend energy. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Hmm. If somebody has you waiting and they keep making you promises that they're going to leave their wife, their husband, or they're going to commit to you soon and it's going to be just you and only you, man, drop that motherfucker. If they can't make up their mind the first time, drop them. Yeah, look, King of King of Cups in the reverse, okay? This person had them. This person had emotions, okay? They had them, but they kept them hidden. They were manipulative with these with these emotions, they knew how to give the love to keep this person stuck, but to then take it back when they just felt like, you know, you're acting out. I get kind of narcissistic, narcissistic traits here. I won't say actually a narcissist, but I'm getting some kind of a feeling of a trait of, of one. Someone would sit here and, and, pull, and play this bullshit. They would be a page, a king, a knight of pinnacle. They'd be everything. They see uh, this person's off. They might be mentally ill. And I, I mean, I'm not saying to laugh at that, but I mean, damn. 
Look at that. Look, look how, look how unstable that looks. A knight, a page, a knight, a king. Like it don't. It, the knight. This person must be a grown ass person that acts like a teenager with so many uh, different personalities. They can't figure out what the fuck they want. They don't know if they want to be a child. They don't know if they want to be a teen. They don't know if they want to step up to the plate and be an adult. This person's confused. But while they were doing all this damn confusion, they had somebody in in in, in their in their head stressed, their back hurting, staying up at night, wondering why aren't they texting me? Why aren't they calling me? I thought we were going to make this official. They said today they'd come back. You know, it's Wednesday. They said they would come back, you know, and spend the day with me, blah, blah, blah. This person was getting played the whole time. This is the past uh, energy. We have the two of wands. Yeah. This person, this page bullshit was sitting here uh, actually playing games while this person here was actually deciding which direction to go. I'm probably going to have to go in another direction because I'm starting to see that this person's pattern is getting a little bit sus. It's not working out for me. Somebody had the world in their hands. You know, they were kind of skeptical. The individual that was waiting, the one that had the burden on their back, was kind of skeptical about, um, about, god dang you guys, I keep dropping cards. They were kind of skeptical about this person's uh, actions, how they weren't matching up. But they, you know, they they, they, they didn't want to leave this person out in the cold. Because I believe that you and this person, or whoever this is, have a lot of history. Okay? that That's sweet. Whatever. But history don't mean a damn thing. You can go into a fucking grocery store and meet somebody for the first time. And they will respect you more than your own damn family members. They will give you the respect, the kind of respect as a human should. Trust me. We have justice in the reverse. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Unjust. Just not even okay. Could have been marriage here, but I'm not feeling marriage. I'm feeling like somebody was doing something that was very, very uh, unfair. Very unfair. That's why we saw that wheel of fortune in the reverse back here. This person is going to deal with their karma. They got that coming for them. They were unjust. What they were doing to this person with the burdens that they were carrying, they were unjust to this person. And they would come with this knight of pentacles. Like they would make these promises over and over again. This is the past, okay? The, uh, the um, how would you say? The recent past. This person, ooh. This person was playing. They knew they didn't want to give a stable offer. They knew they didn't, and that would end you up in being sad. That would make you end up being sad, you know, feeling as if you're missing out, feeling like you're just alone. You know, you were sad to have to even have this on your mind, the two of wands, thinking of going in another direction. If you can see this lady's going towards one, one um, wand, more closer to one wand than the other. You know, I don't think I'm going to go that way, but I got the world in my hands. I think I'm going to go this way by myself. She's by herself. And then that five of cups, she was, she or he is sad to do this. They don't want to do this. This is not something that they like wanted to do because they just wanted to be spiteful. No, it feels like this person gave many a chances. I mean, look at that bridge there. Look at that bridge there. This person was actually sad they had to go across that bridge to get to their damn happiness. Look at that castle right there. They were sad, but they were sitting there looking at spilt milk. You know, you can't you can't scoop the milk back up into the cups, bruh. And even if there's anything in those, you got to make sure there's even anything in them, to be, to be honest. The original tarot deck, it has a five of cups with stuff coming out of it. These look empty, okay? But there's two cups behind this person where that bridge is at. They just got to get ready to get their cells together, collect themselves, and get on over to that other side where that castle's at. Where there, there, it looks like there's happiness. They're in a sad area. Okay. So somebody here. It was it was sad for them to move forward. It was not an easy thing. It wasn't like, oh yeah, you a hoe. Bye. You know, no. It wasn't like that. It was more like, you know, dang. You know, I thought that this was going to be something, you know, real. But I'm starting to see now exactly for what it is. All right. My bad. You know what I mean? And, 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 and they're sad about it. It took some time for this person to get over this. Now let's clarify these, the present. The world card and the ten of cups. Something has been closed out so something new can begin. Something brand new and something very fulfilling can begin. Spirit, what do we have here for the world card and the um, ten of cups and the upright? What do we have here for the world card 
and the Ten of Cups in the upright. Is anything spirit for this for the present? Okay. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, the devil in the reverse. Somebody pulled themselves out of a toxic situation. This shit here was toxic. Somebody had to try. It took so long for somebody to try to unchain themselves from this devil energy and this devil bitch or devil dude, whoever it was that was causing these issues here, playing mind games. They really literally had to. Their guys, angels, ancestors, somebody pull them out of this because this is a very hard thing to do to unleash yourself from obsession, obsession, addictions. It's not easy. People like, why do you smoke cigarettes? Why can't you quit? Why don't you quit smoking weed? Why don't you quit drinking? Yeah, okay, so why don't you just have going ahead and teach me how to do it overnight? Just teach me, you know? Just you, you give me two of cups. Yep. Somebody had to close out a cycle so that way they can find their true soulmate. Because this person over here was playing games and it was causing somebody some burdens. That's the recent past. Two of Cups clarifying the World card and the Ten of Cups. Somebody had to close out one thing to get to another thing. And they weren't sure if they even wanted to do it. But they had to get themselves out of this devil energy. This person here was just wanting to keep someone stuck. This playing the games and shit. This person was sad to leave this person behind. But, you know, what they were doing was unjustified. It wasn't right. They were playing with their emotions and all that, having nothing to offer. Not even wanting to offer commitment, but would make promises they knew damn well they weren't going to keep. Now, the present future, not the present future. What the? It must be my Snickers coffee. Now in the present, this person has actually literally has a closed out cycle. It's closed out, okay? And now they're happy with someone that they, the Ten of Cups, with someone, their soulmate. I'm not saying this all happened within weeks, no. I'm just stating that this was like the process, okay? Somebody's sharing that cup. They're holding each other's cup. They got each other. You got me, I got you. You stressing, I'll lift, I'll, I'll hold my hand out to you. Take my hand. If the other's stressing, I'll hold out my hand. Just, just take my hand. I got you. It's me and you against everything else. We got this. All right? That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. And then the devil down here, right in the reverse, that's even more beautiful. Somebody got out of a very toxic ass of so, uh, obsessed bullshit they got out of it can we get one more card spirit for the present future i'm sorry guys i'm letting time run so long here i, I know i let my time go long because i just kind of like to go deep i've been through so much of these type of situations before it ain't even funny you would sit here and think i'm perfect at it you'd sit here and think i am a therapist but i'm not it's just that i've been through it i've been through it oh yeah <laughs> ah, i had my share oh it's, I had to kiss so many ugly ass frogs to get to my prince, my king, my king. Okay. I kissed about four or five frogs before I got to my actual king, man. Was not fun. Okay. The Knight of Wands. See, now that someone, now in the present, someone's wanting to rush in. Someone that was in and out of someone's life here, playing the fool, playing an idiot towards someone, playing, being mischievous and manipulative. They're trying to come back. Do you see that? Knight of Wands. That's clarifying the World card. And then the, the Ten of Cups. This Knight of Wands is part of this World card. They're coming back because they're like, wait a minute. You're not shutting out this cycle. You're not shutting this out. Where do you think you're going? This Two of Cups right here is belonging to the Ten of Cups. Someone's found their happiness. See? So now someone doesn't want to get left behind. Do you see how, you see how that is? Look at that. Somebody closed out a cycle with the Knight of Wands energy. It could be playerish or it could be in and out. But to me, I'm feeling playerish vibes. I'm playing games here. Like somebody would leave to only come back. Leave to come back and make these promises. Leave. Pull their energy back and forth away. And this person that had to carry the burdens, I'm sorry to say, was a bit naive. They knew their intuition was speaking loud as shit. But they still, still did it gracefully. They still gave plenty of opportunity and time for this person to get their shit together. This knight, this pinnacle, this fucking king, knight, whatever they want to be. This person that's all over the damn place. 
they put a lot of burden on somebody and somebody was it was hard for someone to put that down the individual that sat waiting with those promises but if you look at the world card somebody ended something they closed out a, i said that a huge major cycle someone coming in and out they closed that out they're like look man no you know you ain't gonna give me clarity you ain't gonna give me no closure good i'll just go on about my way i'm closing it that's it so this person must have done something to where it was an out moment and this person just left and they weren't expecting it but here they come back again because they see that you are happy. They see you're in your two of cups with your 10. This is beautiful. There's no such thing as 12 of cups, but this is what I'm seeing here now. That's like the divine stepping in, giving you your person. You may have kids with this person. You may not. You guys may be expecting pretty soon. Hell, I see babies. I do see some children for some of you. I see you guys getting that house. I see it. I see that wedding. I see these things in this card. That's that Ten of Cups. And I feel it. I feel it within my spirit. I feel it. Somebody has found their true happiness and they never thought that they would find it. They always thought it was with this Knight of Wands individual. This in and out. Okay, no. In, out. In, out. In. When it was convenient for them. Somebody close that out. Now they got the two of cups. They're down for some for someone. Someone's down for them. They can share. They exchange. They exchange energy. It's reciprocal. You know, it's the it's it's, it's the reciprocity. It's I give, you give, you take, I take. We do this together. It's balanced. Someone's doing their good. They're doing what they need to do. They're 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 at peace. Okay. Here they weren't. Excuse me. They were sad, carrying burdens, having to figure out which direction to go in. They were confused, laying up at night. I'm surprised the Nine of Swords didn't come out here. They were up at night, stressing out, okay? Now look at what we got at the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. This motherfucking Knight, Knight of Wands is trying to come back in, okay? So whoever thinks that they're, whoever's happy now and, you know, is with someone, you know, and, and was really stuck on someone from their past and burdened by it, this narcissistic person, it's like to play games and shit, pulling love cards and pillow talking and stuff and running in and out, players' energy. They're, they're, this person that was dealing with that, they're happy now. They're at peace. Okay, they're at peace. But the person that they were dealing with in the past that burdened them is coming back to win at all costs. They don't give a damn who or what they have to do. Shit, this person may be so goddamn stubborn and so damn uh, egotistical. They might not, they might even resort to spell work because they're willing to win at all costs, no matter whose head they leave hanging, as long as they get to carry all of those knives, those, those swords, they're going to be okay with it. And they don't even need them. That's the thing. I'm going to put this right here on top of the Knight of Wands because I feel that's where it needs to be. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, somebody is grounded, nurturing, loving. This person here knew that. They knew this person was loving, very, very um, uh, comforting, caring, you know. It's, this person took advantage of this Queen of Pentacles. You could be a man or a woman. Do not, I don't do gender here. I don't. Not at all. I need to start putting that in my description box because people get confused. I've seen some readers that sit there saying she, 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 he, he, he. Understand, you guys, most readers don't mean that. What they're just going by is just how they're used to speaking. But it could be, it's gender neutral. It's not about gender. Just because you see a king of cups, you could be the queen. Okay, don't don't get, don't get it crossed. But th this person is nurturing and loving and that's what they're doing. They're nurturing and loving this connection here. They're loving and, and then they're nurturing their true happiness here. That's what this queen of pentacles is doing. Their money's right, you know. When they were here... I just have a feeling this person's money wasn't right. Their mind wasn't right. They couldn't get themselves together because they had somebody toxic around. If you've ever noticed some toxic ass friends or people that you have, that when you're around them, you seem to have your mind change. It's peer pressure. It's like high school all over again. You guys, that even happens in adulthood. People act like children within their minds. They play like that. I'm not even joking you. That's why I stick to my damn self. My friends is my home. My children and my fiance. No, I don't impact all my uh, energy onto them every day. But I'd rather be with people that I could trust than people I don't know if I can or not. 
I don't know if they go around talking about me behind my back. I don't know what they're talking about or what they're doing, but I'm not going to give them the chance to try. Not me. Okay. Anywho, this is about you. This is about you. All right. All right. Just let me know my life ain't perfect. Okay. It's not perfect, but it is. It is perfect. At the end of the day, I got myself. I got my home. I have a roof over my head. Okay. I may not be a mansion, but guess what? It's mine. It's mine. Whenever I feel like going to make something to eat. Hell, right now, I feel like really making some brownies right now, you guys. Like, a dead ass serious. It's not to throw anyone off. I'm serious. I want to make a batch of brownies, and I'm going to do that when this video is over. Because I feel good. I feel good. I don't have to worry about, you know, um, if I have a friend or a foe. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, that type of stuff. Anywho, this person's doing better. They're nurturing their connection. They're nurturing what they want. Their happiness. Someone here that they closed the cycle out with was very vindictive. They were, they, they love arguing. They love fighting. They love playing games. They love, this person was misguided to assume that play hard to get and they'll stick around. That's what they were doing here. Playing fucking games, like middle school type things. Hard to get, you know, that young, the young little, you know, the young kids and leave me alone you know stop you know oh my god and then walking away and that was cute in middle school you had backpacks you were getting on a goddamn yellow bus this is not cute now and someone has seen that this was what was going on they're enlightened to it now because guess what they got to a place where there is happiness they feel the burden being lifted off of them it's not on it's lifted off Whatever connection you are in now or whatever thing that you have you're nurturing and you're keeping away from this individual that you closed out, all this shit, all this shit here, it's better. You feel it. You feel it within yourself. You feel that this is where I belong. I feel like I belong here. I wanted peace all this time from this person. Just peace and commitment and they couldn't even give it to me. This person is a, is a player, player, player. They like to play games, and it wasn't only you that they were doing that to. Trust and believe me. They had a handful. But karma's a mother effer. I'm telling you, because I saw it at the bottom of the deck, that Wheel of Fortune. It may not have popped out, but it showed up at the bottom of the deck. That's what a lot of people cannot see, okay? Somebody might do you dirty, and you will not get to see their karma. But spirit guides will give you a little hint to let you know. You're doing better. Don't worry about their karma. Don't worry about what they got coming for them. You just keep doing good and keep getting getting good things and putting good things out there. Doing you, being you, being a good person. This person tried doing that with this person, giving them ample amount of chances. So they're not on the bad side of karma. The person that was playing games, oh, nothing's going right for them right now. I can guarantee you that. There's nothing going right for them right now. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope, that's why they're trying to bring their ass up back up in here. Because if this was actually closed out, this Knight of Wands and this Five of Swords, and definitely the immediate future would not show no Seven of Swords. This person would not be even nowhere in. They're insecure, and, they're in, in, and they want to come and steal someone's joy. That's what they want to do. They see this person moved on and is nurturing their, their selves. Okay, let's get a card for the Seven of Swords and the Strength in the Reverse Spirit. What is the Seven of Swords and the Strength in the Reverse what is the Seven of Swords and the Strength in the Reverse? I guess we can call this the Scorned X because that's what this is. They're coming back for many of you. They're coming back because when that, isn't it funny how that works? You know, you sat there trying to do what you're doing with someone else with them. You tried doing it with them. You tried giving them them chances and they kept refusing your cup, refusing your cup. No, nah, I don't want all that. I don't want all that. Oh no, one day, one day. Look, one day I might be dead. I'm not going to sit here and wait for my happiness when it could come right to me. Uh-uh. You go on about your business. Have that one day with someone else. Play them one day games with another motherfucker. That's exactly what this, that's exactly what this is saying. But someone was being humble about it. They didn't say, they didn't curse, they didn't do nothing. They just moved on. The best type of thing you can do. Yeah, someone's made their decision. That's why the Seven of Swords is out here and the Strength is in the reverse. Someone here has made a decision to move on. They're not going back to this. And someone wants to come in now and be a sneaky thief. They want to come in and they want to steal someone's joy. Yeah, 
They want to make a third party situation happen now. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. Even though it's in the upright. Yes, this could be collaborating, working with people. But I would say that's what that is if I saw the Eight of Pentacles out here. And I don't see that. I see the Two of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's made a decision to get out of this shit. To get themselves back into their zone to where they're feeling confident about themselves. And somebody's not liking that. Here they want to bring you into a third party. Now they were doing third party situations over here towards you. Now that you've moved on and you left them behind. Here they want to come in and they want to steal your joy and put you and your person that you're with now into a third party situation. They want to offer you third party energy. They can go on with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because now they're seeing that you're, you're their wish fulfillment. But if you notice, guys, you're in the ten of cups here in the, in the, in the, in the present right now. Okay. This is nine of cups. This is going down. It's not going up. So where you're at right now, just really, 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 really think about it before you go jumping off into somebody that got the nine of cups with seven of swords here. They're selfish as fuck. They're thinking of themselves. This person even has their arms crossed. They probably do a lot of fucking drinking. No, nothing wrong with having a nightcap or two, but you know what I mean? You know, and they're spying and watching. They're spying and watching like a motherfucker. The, the page of swords in the reverse. Look, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm getting too many pages here now. I'm getting too many pages. All right. This person's very immature. This page of swords here. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. This page of swords here. If you count this with the three of swords right here, the two of swords in the reverse. If you count those two of swords, this sword here, and then these seven of swords, that's ten swords. Someone's coming back to fucking backstab. They're coming back for revenge. Okay, this is why the Seven of Swords is sitting here. One. Okay, we got three swords right here, right? And they're all in the reverse. Someone's done made up their mind. They're going to keep spying and watching, keep spying and watching, being vindictive. They're trying to collect information, gossiping, you know, collecting the wrong information from people, running around talking shit, talking shit that they can they, Cash in, trying to cash checks they ask trying to cash checks that they their mouth can't cash okay their ass can't cash and then here with this that is ten of swords in this area for the immediate future somebody's coming back to try to get revenge they want to yet stab someone there's already ten here and ending the ten of wands sadness I have to move on you know I, I'm closing this cycle out it's done you know I'm, I'm good. I'm going on to nurture something else. Seven of swords, two of swords in the reverse. Somebody's made their decision. They made up their mind. This person has made up their mind. Okay. And then we have the seven to the two. And then we have this extra sword here. Ten swords. Be careful. Yeah, because someone wants you to come the fuck back. I can't make this up. This is the eight of cups in the reverse. They want to reverse that. They remember that time when you walked the hell away. That's that, that, that that's this world card right here, babes. Okay? They want you to come back so they can stick more knives in you. More wine, uh, more, uh, yeah, stress, late at night, up stress, worried. I'm not even going to sit here and just tamper with cards no more. I'm just going to show you what's going on at the bottom of the deck. You might not be seeing this, sir or ma'am. You may not be seeing this because, again, you're nurturing your own connection. But immediate future, this person's trying to come back because they feel like they need to steal your happiness. They make they need to they need to take your strength away. They want to take your confidence from you. That's what they've done because you've made up your mind about where you want to be at. You're not second guessing anymore. You're not in this energy waiting for them to come back, and they are stressed the fuck out about it. They are so stressed. Yep, and now they got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Do you see how that works? Karma. They got the Ten of Wands on their back. The Ten of Wands, again, in the uprights, about to be putting something down. This burden's about to end. Like this, no. They're carrying them sticks on their back. Remember that backpack I told you about at the beginning? This mother effer still, they're holding it. We started off with the Ten of, Pentacle, uh, the ten of Wands in the reverse. And look, at the end, the immediate, the immediate future... In the immediate past, both have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Someone thought it was cute, you know, to play mind games here. Someone closed out a cycle with someone that just... We got the Five of Swords with the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, close that out. That's, 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 that's a done, done deal. That's not even... Yeah, now they're up in their head. They're up in their head about it. All day and night they think about this person. All day and night. All day and all night. 
Yep, because somebody got their confidence. Somebody's feeling good. Queen of Wands, you could be a king, but you're feeling confident. You're looking the other direction. You're not looking back at that person. You're looking in the other direction. What's new? What's new? You got your cat right there with you. You're intuitive as fuck. You feel this person breathing down your neck. You feel them breathing down your neck. And they're trying to avoid this tower, but they're going to have to face this motherfucker because this is not going to be avoidable. And if you notice in this picture, the tower in the upright, there's one person falling out of this tower. This person that was playing fucking mind games, they're the ones falling out the tower. Not two people, it's one person. Somebody up in their mind, but it's in the reverse because they want to avoid that. That's why they're coming back with the Seven of Swords, hoping they can come in and steal and do whatever they want because they're feeling burdened. Again, we're going to go through the cards. They want to put a third-party situation in the mix, the Seven of Swords, because someone has made up their mind, the Two of Swords, okay? They see you now as wish fulfillment. You're in your 10. They're, they're at 9, okay? They see you as wish fulfillment. They're kind of trying to bring you down from that happiness so they can get what they fucking want. Selfish as fuck. Very immature, watching, 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 gossiping, lying, telling lies. I mean, like never before. This person will probably say the sky is purple and they would believe it. They're sad. They're running around trying to get everybody to be convinced that you're the bad person. Okay, but they're spying on you because they want you to come back. They don't have the cojones to come back to tell you that. Come back to me. I want you back. I'm sorry. I'll try to make this work. But you've heard it all before, mister or sir. Whoever's in this position with those ten of wands at the very at, in your recent past, you already know what this is. You already know that damn speech. You're tired of hearing it. You tired of hearing it. This person stressed the F out. They're not sleeping at night because they see you nurturing another connection. They see you in your 10 while they're wanting to bring you the nine. That's personal fulfillment. That's for me, for, for them only. Okay? That's for them only. Now the 10 of wands is in the reverse for this person. They're carrying burdens now because they see that you close this out. Okay? And they're all up in their head. They don't have to be all up in their head in a mental prison. They can get themselves out. They can start do, excuse me. They can start doing better for themselves. They don't want to because they see you and you're confident. They see you sit sitting tall, sitting pretty, sitting handsome. You're doing your thing, king or queen. Keep doing it. Do not let this person come bring you down. Don't let them do that. That's why the seven of swords and then all these other negative cards are here. The only negative card that I do not see, um. I think the nine of not the nine of cups is is a good card, but in this in this position, no. I think somebody's wanted to bring in a third party situation so they could come back and pull you down. You remember you had the devil in the reverse at the back of the deck. You were climbing out of this toxicity. Okay, you were climbing out of it. This person's still trying to avoid a tower moment, but they are. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. They're gonna come to their senses and see that they can't come back in and just you know have have it have things their way. Have their cake and eat it too. It's not going to happen that way. It's not going to happen that way. Nope. And they're about to find that out the hard way. Let's get um. Let's get advice cards here, Spirit. What do we need to get for the collective to know? What do we need the collective to know, Spirit? Can you give us two cards? Two cards for the collective. Okay. Yeah, somebody now is in their head. Because someone else is actually in their happy fulfillment. They're being fulfilled. They're in a committed situation. Look, they're celebrating. Again, this person nurturing this connection, this Ten of Cups, this Queen of Pentacles. They're nurturing themselves now. They're celebrating. They're celebrating. Look at that. And this person's all up in their head. And look at that little water that they're standing in. All up in their emotions because they're like, that's my twin flame. That's the person I'm destined to be with. Why are they happy with someone else? Why not me? You play too many fucking games. If you're watching this right now, you know this is you. Why would you do this to somebody and think they're going to stand around for it? Come on. You wouldn't want nobody doing you like that. That's common sense. At the bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands in the reverse. This person's bitter. They're bitter. They don't they they they, they don't want to they, they don't want to come in with passionate great news because they don't have any. I'm alone. I I, I don't know what I want to I don't know what I want. You know, but I see you being happy. You know, when I had you, I didn't know how to treat you. Now that I don't have you and you're with someone else, my mind is all up in this. I'm all up in my emotions now because you found your happiness. You were supposed to wait for me. Got me fucked up. No, you're not. You're not gonna wait for anybody. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, whoever this was that was dealing with this burden at first, 
allow too much to go on here. That's why this person was doing what the F they were doing. They kept doing it because they knew you were going to be there. They knew. Yeah. You're working on yourself. You're working on your own happiness. You used to work for this person. You used to work for this person. Yep, you're giving the love to yourself and you're very intuitive. I said that when I saw the Queen of Wands here. You're very intuitive. You know the love that you have to give. You know how to nurture. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the, and the, and the Queen of Cups. This is the same person nurturing, working on their connection, working on themselves, loving, putting themselves in financial uh, stability, working on themselves, working on their stability, their future. This person's all up in their head because they see you doing just that. Okay, pray for them. Pray for this individual, yep. And they're going to keep watching you because you know why? Our Lord Jesus Savior, maybe many of you don't believe in Jesus, okay? Maybe you don't, and I'm not trying to push any agenda. But my my, my God is it has made all this orchestrated on purpose for whomever this is, whoever's resonating. Because this is meant for somebody to sit and watch you shine. This is going to wake some people up. Somebody's going to get woke by an alarm clock and they ain't going to like it. And then, and then what's funny is that they still didn't learn from the lesson when you shut out the the cycle the first time because of them being trying to win at all costs and coming in and out your life. They try to come in and bring some more Three of Pentacles uh, wish fulfillment for themselves, Seven of Swords energy. They're still trying to do that. They're not, they're not learning anything. They're coming in to try to take everything that you've worked for. Your confidence, your nurturing connection that you might be in. Hey, some of you might be nurturing yourselves. All of you ain't in relationships now. You may not be. And that's okay. You're going to get there. And this person's going to be right at your doorstep. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't. This person's watching you. They're watching you, watching you, watching you. Yeah, because they don't have anything to offer. Again, the, this is the page of Pentacles in the reverse like we had here in the reverse. They're the same person. They have not changed, okay? This is the recent past. Now, this is going out future. Extra cards that are coming out for extra information. This person hasn't changed a lick of anything. They see you as the empress. Emperor, empress, call it whatever you want, male or female. You are in your power. You are standing strong. You are standing beautiful. You're pregnant with beautiful ideas. You're sitting. Look at that. You're sitting so damn pretty in the sun. Look at all them stars on her crown. If this person didn't see your value then, they definitely see it now and they're regretting it. But I'm sorry, this person's still coming. Look at all the lavish things you have that you're leaning against in your chair. You're comfortable. You're holding on to your, you're holding on to your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mind. Your beautiful mind, the growth around you, the nature, the love, the just everything. You make things grow. The sun's even glowing for you. Do you see how beautiful that is? What's on this uh, outfit? Strawberries or watermelons are all over her outfit. Growth, growth, growth. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Bear fruit, bear fruit. Beautiful. Some of you might be getting pregnant soon. I don't know why I just bought that out. But if you're not wanting to get pregnant, be, be protected. But I don't know why I bought that out. But yeah, a page of pentacles. A page of pentacles. And um, look. Then we got the cherry. Look at all these major arcanas. You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries, a Cancer. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is how these cards came one by one as I pulled the deck. This person's watching. They know that they lie. They know they don't have anything to offer you. You're an empress. They're watching you in your power. And they're seeing you move forward. They see you getting out of your dark side, going into your light side. You used to be low, so you used to be so low vibrational around this person, okay? Around this person here. Because they would have you in a mindset that just was not healthy for you. They always had you guessing. Now they see you in your power, moving forward, doing what you have to do, moving forward, taking nurturing your family, starting a legacy, doing things that you try to do with them in the past, but they were, uh oh, no, I don't know. Oh, you know, I do love you. Uh, okay, I will see you tomorrow, but um, I have the... They're messing around with all kinds of people. They were exercising their options when they had a mother effing empress right in front of them. They were in people's backyards trying to, you know, use a magnifying glass to see if they can find gold in their yard. They had the whole gold mine in front of them. There was a gold mine in front of their face and they could not even see it. 
Now they just get to watch. That's their karma. They were unjust here and it was fun. But now time's going back and on. They're up at night, stressed, up in their head. They see you in confidence. You know, you used to be kind of in, you weren't that confident because you were like, man, this person's going to leave me or they're going to do this. No, weekend energy collective. Let me tell you, when you pull away from someone and stop chasing them, watch how fast they come running. Give it time. That's the thing. People don't like to be patient. Give it time. Even if it's months, even if it's a year or two. It does not matter. Pull that energy back without telling them you're doing anything. That's the thing. Big mouths don't do nothing. You chomp your mouth all day. I'm leaving you. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Say nothing and do the action. That's where you make real big moves. That's where people see you're not kidding. Now they get to watch all of that. They check up on you day and night. They are checking up on you. They've lost control of the situation you, I'm not seeing counterparts here. I'm seeing someone that tried to control another individual's emotions. How they want to control the narrative. They want to control when they're going to have this person around. When they may decide to get married to this person. Maybe 10 years down the line when they're done playing with all these options. They are pissed. They're pissed. They got kicked out of their throne. And someone else got to sit. Okay. They're in a dusty one now. They're sitting in a dusty-ass cave somewhere. Yep, there's that Three of Pentacles energy again. They're so scorned. They're so pissed off. They see you collaborating and building with someone else, a strong foundation, and they don't like it. But you're done. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse. You connected with a true soulmate. No, I don't see this as a past. I see this as somebody that's probably been in a past life where you were meant to be with them. But in this lifetime, you had to deal with this person. It was hard for you to let this person go. It was hard for you to let this person go. I can feel it. That devil energy in the reverse, you had to pull yourself with tooth and nail to get out so you can join your true soulmate. You might be having children soon, okay? Something good is going on here. And it's not about a past person. It's about you getting your shit together now. You know what you you know what you deserve. And it's not it's not this it's not it's not this. It's not this. It's not burdens. It's not that. Nobody's meant to live a life like that in a mental prison figuring out if they're worthy and shit. Man, fuck man, f all that. No. No, you're not about to have me up in my head. No. Not anymore. You did at one point. You got me good. You got me good. Not anymore. Sorry, you guys. This ran so long. My, my readings do run long. That's why I don't get many views. But hey, if you're here and you stuck around, I appreciate you so much. I hope that this did resonate. I hope that it did. Whoever's on whatever end. There's, a, there's, there's someone on the end of good karma here. And there's someone on the bad end of karma here. Take your pick. It ain't that hard. You'll know. You'll know who you are. Yep. Bottom of the deck now. Eight of Wands in the reverse. No communication. I don't want to communicate. I don't want to. I don't want to. No, 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 no. And someone is becoming impatient because they're not communicating. They're becoming impatient. They're already imbalanced. This is temperance in the reverse. They're not at peace because you're not communicating with them, with their games and stuff anymore. But remember that immediate future, that was a seven of swords. And then we had the, uh, the strength in the reverse. Yeah, look, ain't no more. Ain't no more with this person. Ain't no more with this unbalanced person that sat there and just made, yeah, they want your guard down. You know, you're no longer defending that connection. No, you, you, you'd rather just not take the cup. You're going to sit there and act like a sourpuss. Yeah, who cares? I know you want to talk now. I know you want to speak the truth now and give me all the secrets. There's still lies. I saw the seven of swords. I'm not blind. Tell them that, collective. I saw the Seven of Swords. I'm not blind. I know what you're doing. <laughs> They're going to be like, Seven of Swords? What are you talking about? I have no swords. <laughs> you know, it's just something silly, you know. Whoever this is resonating with, I'm proud of you. I'm for real. I'm not patronizing nobody. I am proud of you, for real. To get up out that devil-ass energy is not easy. Man, there's so many people that run through addictions, man, and they just, it's hard to get out of them. I know, I know this. When you're addicted, you're addicted. It could be the sex, porn, school, uh, studying, exercise. It could be anything. It ain't just got to be bad things, like big, terrible things. Um, I didn't ask for anything. 
but we have complicated and rigid in the reverse. Someone is being very, very hostile, trying to be, uh, trying to play hard to get when the other person's not playing the game at all. And the comp, it's com uh, the complicated was in the reverse. It's no longer complicated for this person to move on with their life. At first it was, but no. At the bottom of the deck right now, we got wishing. Someone's wishing for someone to come back because they see them happy now. The same thing that they try to do with you, you didn't want to do it. You didn't want to. You want to play mind games, keep them stuck. What do we have here for the collective spirit? Any other cards? Thank you. We have deceit. Look at that. I'm not lying. This is the energy for the weekend, my loves. Deceit. <laughs> Fragment. Somebody, they're nothing but a distant memory and they're mad about that. And so now they want to come back with deceitful intentions. They want to come back with deceitful intentions. They don't want to come and make peace. That's a conclusion for you. There it says chapter one, and then it says the end. Exactly collective. End it. You close out that cycle in this present few in the present moment. Keep it closed. Once you end the once you end the book, don't go back in there and try to change the change the story. How are you gonna do that? You can rewrite it if you want to. You got free will. But is it really worth going through all this? To try to rewrite something? When you could be missing out the love of your life? Do you get what I'm saying here? Yeah, complicated in the reverse yet again. No, it's not complicated for you anymore. It's pretty fucking simple. It's cut and dry. This person just wants to pretend they don't see it. I love you, Collective. Sorry, you guys. I got deep in that in that energy because I was just feeling it. I was like, look at all these cars that's sitting out. And then the cars that kept coming out. And then spirit confirming. I love my spirit guys. Me and my spirit guys do speak. Um, and, and we do do long readings. I'm going to start making them shorter, guys. I do apologize. Um, because I know people are like, man, can she just get to the point? I am getting to the point. You just ain't patient. <laughs> okay, so collective, I thank you so much for joining Just Small Tarot. I pray and ask that you do subscribe. Please thumbs up the video. And please continue to love yourself. Take care of your loved ones, your family members. Continue to love yourself, okay? That's what you got to do, first and foremost. Continue to be safe and healthy and have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.